this video presentation introduces the structural engineering or STE specialization. So you want to be a structural engineer, huh? When you were kids, you have been building blocks like this kid and you have been building bridges using popsicle sticks and you have been playing with tools of a structural engineer. Do you know that your parents were your first teachers about structural engineering? Do you remember the nursery rhymes like the London Bridge is falling down? It is a lesson on structural materials. The story of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf is a lesson on designing houses against wind loads. And the song Humpty Dumpty is a lesson on stable shapes. So what is structural engineering? Structural engineering is both an art and a science. STE is a science that, ap that applies your knowledge of physics, mechanics, material science, and mathematics to understand and predict how structures support and resist unknown external and internal forces. STE is also an art, an art of designing various types of structures that satisfy requirements on safety, serviceability, economy, and sustainability using theory, experience, and developing design codes and techniques and tools for structural analysis and assessment. The structural engineering spectrum covers the following from activities to solution. Activities of a structural engineer starts from the conception of the design up to the retrofitting and even demolition of the structure. The structural engineer designs various types of structures, buildings, bridges, trusses, shells, towers. The structural engineer is guided by a design code using local codes like the NSCP and codes from other countries like the American code, British code, European and Japanese codes. The structural engineer uses various types of materials in designing structural members that create and build different types of structures. A structural engineer analyzes structures using structural models from simple two-dimensional frame truss models to more sophisticated three-dimensional finite element models. A structural engineer analyzes structures using linear static analysis to more complicated nonlinear line linear dynamic analysis and he uses simple to complicated solutions. The structural engineer designs a structure or a building from the roofing to the footing. On the other hand, a construction engineer builds the structure from the footing to the roofing. The structural engineer's responsibility starts from the conception and planning of the structure and implements the analysis, the design, manages and the construction and the erection of the structure. In the design of a structure, 
the following structural design process is usually followed. From the architectural plans submitted by the architect, the structural engineer decides on the structural system, which consists of the columns, beams, frames, walls that will be used, and decide on trial sections for implementing structural modeling and structural analysis. The output of a structural analysis are forces, internal forces, that are used to design the structural members. The structural engineer is guided by a code and he decides on whether the design is acceptable or not. If the design is acceptable, then he proceeds to connection design, detailing, and submits the final design. The structural engineer designs high-rise buildings, and these are the world's tallest buildings. The Burj Khalifa is the presently the tallest building in the world. The structural engineer also designs horizontal structures like bridges using various forms, arches, suspension bridges, truss bridges, and cable stake bridges. The structural engineer erects tall and high-rise towers made of various materials from concrete to steel. The structural engineer also designs special structures of various shapes, domes, flat plates, and other sophisticated shapes. The structural analysis involves meticulous and rigorous computation, and a software is usually used in implementing the analysis and design of structures. Loads are usually modeled to mathematically analyze structural models to come up with diagrams and tables needed in structural analysis and design. Structural design uses basic equilibrium equations learned in statics and various concepts and theories on the design of various types of materials. The structural engineer simulates models and simulates structures to determine their behavior and performance due to various loads like wind and earthquake. Structural design codes are necessary to determine the safety of the design of structural members. In the Philippines, we, the structural engineer uses the structural code of the Philippines. Structural concrete has various types of types from reinforced concrete, high-strength concrete, and pre-stressed concrete. Structural steel uses various types of design approaches from allowable stress design to load resistance factor design. And there are various shapes of structural members that are used in the design of steel members. Timber is another material used in some of the structures designed by civil engineers. The structural engineer can choose various structural shapes, and there are many choices, from eye sections to composite sections, wherein circular sections are combined with various shapes, like eye sections. The structural engineer designs different types of structural elements, columns, 
walls, floors or slabs, roof trusses, and stairs. Design of connections is an important part in the design of a structural member and structures using rigid and semi-rigid types of connections. The structural engineer interprets architectural plans and formulate structural design plans which are then implemented during construction. One of the responsibilities of a structural engineer is to inspect the project to check the compliance of the construction engineer to the design plans. Structural engineers battle with natural hazards like wind and earthquakes. Structural engineers primary goal is safety and structural engineers must design to prevent building collapse and they must learn from structural failures to improve future design of structures. Existing structures must be assessed and strengthened and retrofitted to extend their lifespan and assure safety of occupants. A structural engineer has various subspecialties sub like bridge engineer, earthquake engineer, dam engineer, forensic, wind software, and foundation engineer. He must deal with other professionals from hydraulics engineers, transportation engineer, construction, geotechnical, including mechanical engineers and electrical engineers. In the Philippines, the specialty organization for structural engineers is the Association of Structural Engineers of the Philippines. There are also international associations like the International Association for Bridge and Structural Engineering or YABSE and many Filipino civil engineers are members of YABSE. It's okay to be a structural engineer. Are you interested to be a structural engineer? Welcome to the world of structural engineering.